Denver 8 TV, your city, your source. Uh, good morning. My name is Richard Scharf. I'm president and CEO of Visit Denver. And I want to thank everybody for coming this morning and celebrating our eighth annual Denver Arts Week. Uh, it is a citywide celebration of arts and culture. This is going to be the largest event uh, in Denver's history with more than 200 events and over 100 arts organizations participating this week. So we're really excited about it. We'd like to thank, of course, our sponsors that make this event possible. Uh, including Wells Fargo, CBS4, Comcast, Arts and Venue, uh, all are participating as long as the SCFD. Uh, Denver Arts Week was created to publicize the art uh, and cultural scene in Denver. It, as everybody knows, it's going through a, uh, a great uh, renaissance in the last few years, and we want to make sure that uh, all the three million people in the metro area plus the region understand what we have here in Denver. Uh, in order to promote Arts Week, we have put together an integrated marketing campaign. Of course, uh, we have uh, print, outdoor, web advertising, a special brochure highlighting all those events. And then, of course, all of the campaign is driving to our website called DenverArtsWeek.com. So make sure you get a chance to get on there and take a look at everything that's happening. Just a couple of highlights I'd like to give you that would kick off Arts Week. Uh, we have our first Friday, Know Your First, your, your first Friday Arts, uh, which is this Friday, November 7th. That is a, the first thing. It's always a lot of fun. 100 different galleries are participating, so we're really excited about that. This is really a supersized Art Friday if, you, if you've ever been to one. So we're really interested in getting it kicked, out, kicked off like we always do and having a lot of fun. This Saturday, we have the family event of the year, the Night at the Museums. We have 24 different museums participating in the entire Denver metro area, uh, including, of course, Denver, Golden, and Littleton. The 37th annual Stars Film Festival will also roll out the red carpet. November 12th, featuring 250 features this year from 40 different countries. And that's always a big event right around art uh, during Arts Week. And then our the Denver Arts Week celebration will uh, culminate during the first ever Art Denver event. And this is put on by the people who put on uh, the Arts Festival on uh, 4th of July, Denver Art Festival. So we're really excited about that. Uh, that will take place at the Colorado Convention Center from November 14th to the 16th with visual arts and fashion show from several Project Runway alums, including Denver's um, Mondo Guerrera. So we're really excited about the, all the festivities. Again, celebrating our 8th Arts Week. We know it's going to be exciting. And of course, we are in an exciting place today. We're going to hear about that a little later. And now to tell you more about Denver's art community, I'm pleased to uh, introduce one of our biggest supporters, but I had to get him out of the toy house here. He's been, he and uh, First Lady are having a lot of fun. Mayor Michael B. Hancock and the First Lady. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cozy over there. Thank you, Richard. I want to also thank uh, the Children's Museum for hosting us today. This is a fun, creative place, and uh, I think it'd be a great place for us to have a staff retreat. So uh, we're going we're gonna to schedule it here next year. That's all right? Um, you know, it, it, when you see the Children's Museum and how we give such a great start to the lives of our young people, it's easy to understand why Denver is such a creative place and why there's such creative energy. A little later on, I'm going to do some bubble painting. I don't know quite what that is yet, uh, but I'm going to figure it out. Uh, and and I, figured it, I figured this much. It's got to be much better than hanging upside down painting in the Kirkland Museum. And so I look forward to going over and doing some uh, bubble painting in just a moment. And we'll hear what Children's Museum has to offer in just a few uh, moments. But I want to thank Visit Denver for organizing the 8th Annual Denver Arts Week. This is one of my favorite events of the year. Um, it, it is because this, this is truly a citywide, certainly a metro-wide celebration. And there's nothing else like it anywhere. And we are pretty spoiled here in Denver with all the cultural and arts that we have in our great city. 
when you look around and see the museums, uh, the museums that we have, the exhibits that come here, the public art that makes our city an outdoor gallery, and the creative performances and people right here in the city of Denver, you understand why we are so proud uh, with regards to the creative art spirit in our city. And we want to share it with everyone. And we start with Denver Arts Week. We start with one of the best parts, First Friday. Uh, now, I've done this many times. I know Mary Louise has done it many a times. And uh, we simply want to encourage everyone to come out on Friday night and browse the galleries, stop by one of the many food truck roundups, enjoy mingling with the local artists, and purchasing art for your, for your home. And of course, it's never too early to start holiday shopping. And uh, by purchasing locally uh, developed art and crafts, it could be a great uh, way to spruce up your home or your neighbor's home or someone you love um, over the holidays. So whether you are in Rhino, Tennyson, the Navajo Arts District, uh, the Santa Fe Arts District, or the Golden Triangle Museum District, we want folks to get out and, and see some great art during this uh, great celebration. And don't forget the performing arts as well. The Denver Performing Arts Complex is the second largest in the United States, and they are going to have lots of specials throughout the week. And of course, the Stars Denver Film Festival is always a festive event to get dressed up and enjoy independent, thought-provoking new films and meet young filmmakers. It's an exciting time in the life of our city when this uh, week comes around. We have hundreds of events packed in just nine days, so of course, we can't do everything, but we certainly will try. Arts Week is designed to just give you a taste, so remember in Denver, it's always Arts Week. And so if you can't make it this week, and we certainly encourage you to do so over the nine days, we always have these museums and these exhibit, uh, these art uh, galleries around our city, and certainly DCPA isn't going anywhere. There are arts, arts events happening all year long, and you can always find out about them by going to denver365.com. That's denver365.com, where all events are listed for history, science, film, theater, dance, opera, to just name a few. It's the most comprehensive art site in the city uh, of Denver. Now, to tell us about the biggest event in Denver Arts Week, it's uh, one of the people who I happen to be uh, the biggest fan of. Of course, she is my wife, she is our first lady, and that is Mary Louise Lee. Oh, there you are. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you, Visit Denver and the Children's Museum. I'm so happy to be here at the Children's Museum today, and I haven't been here since my kids were very, very small. We used to come every weekend. But I'm so glad to be here and glad to be that this is going to be one of the 24 museums that we have participating at this year, this year at the Night of the Museums. As many of you know, this is a concept that originated in France and has now spread across Europe. And I believe Denver is one of the only few cities in America that have made this event a reality. The concept is simple, one night a year, the museums all stay open late on Saturday night, and they're all free. We have 24 museums from Denver to Littleton and Golden, all participating. And not only will the museums be free from 5 to 10 p.m., but many of them are offering special programs, including music, dance, and guided tours. In our time-crunched world, this is a great opportunity for a family outing on a Saturday night, or it's a great date night, or a time for neighbors to get out and have dinner and together and visit a few museums. And to make it even easier to museum hop, there is free parking and free shuttles. You can park for free at Denver Museum of Nature and Science and pick up a shuttle there. Be sure to stop in and see their brand new whales exhibit. Now, this is probably the only place that you're going to see whales in Denver, so make sure you go. And then ride the free shuttles to the Denver Art Museum, where they're currently having an exhibit called Matisse and Friends, featuring masterpieces from the National Gallery of Art in Washington, DC. And along the way, stop to the Molly Brown House, stop in and see the Molly Brown House Museum where now is displayed, they have an exhibit called Rock the Vote. And it's about women's suffragette movement. What could be more appropriate 
on the weekend after election than to learn how Molly Brown helped give women the right to vote, and right here in Colorado. This is the first state in the nation to give the women the right to vote some 25 years before the 19th Amendment. And I hope you all had an opportunity since uh, the mayor was talking about the Denver Center Performing Arts, I hope you all had an opportunity to see um, the unsinkable Molly Brown at Denver Art, Denver, you know where the performing arts, yes, yes, yes. It is early in the morning, hello. Then ride to the Museum of Contemporary Art Denver where they've just opened an exhibit featuring the artwork of Mark Motherspa, co-founder of Devo. Now we all know who Devo was, okay? So I'm looking forward to seeing that exhibit and it's like I said, it's for free. If you're going to pay to go to all of these museums, it would cost more than $150 per person. So this is a fantastic value for our families. Thank you, Visit Denver, for organizing this. This is an honor for me to be associated with this event again. And I will be out there myself on Saturday with my girlfriends visiting museums, and I hope you will join me. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce Zoe Ocampo with the Children's Museum to hear all about the fun activities they're planning for this year. Zoe. Thank you, First Lady. We are honored to host this year's press conference to kick off the 2014 Denver Arts Week. We've been a proud participant from the very beginning, opening our doors free for Night at the Museums, partnering with a variety of other culturals to bring performances to our young guests, and offering hands-on arts programming designed specifically for early learners. The Children's Museum of Denver is committed to providing rich art experiences to the youngest members of our community because we know how important the exploration and appreciation of art is for a child's cognitive and social-emotional development. Through art, even the youngest children can express their thoughts and feelings and be heard. They can make choices and be powerful. At the Children's Museum of Denver, we believe in kid-powered learning. Through our expertly designed exhibits and programs, we open doors for curious young minds every day to explore, discover, and create more on their own terms. This year, our Denver Arts programming will celebrate art in its diverse forms, showcasing visual arts, music, movement, and dance, and even celebrating the art we find in nature. We'll be open for a night at the museums and have a host of programming uh, throughout the week. This morning, you'll get a sneak peek as we move into our Bubbles exhibit to explore the distinctive art of bubble painting. The mayor and first lady, joined by some of our distinguished young guests, will decorate a blank slate Denver Arts Week logo using a variety of brightly colored bubble solutions and all kinds of wands and tools. You will create a one-of-a-kind collaborative painting. <laughs> uh, for those of you who fall in love with this program, we'll offer it again this Friday at 10 a.m., um, as well as all of the other programs we have. Our website and, of course, um, the Denver Arts Week website has a running list of all of these activities. And just a quick plug, um, you may have noticed we're under construction. We are doubling the size of our museum, and next year, come Denver Arts Week, we will be thrilled to have our 2,300 square foot art gallery and ongoing Colorado Artists in Residence programming activated. So that will be very exciting. So we'll keep you posted. Thank you all. Denver 8 TV, your city, your source.